In this session, we'd like to show a demo of using the J Goodies form layout in the Swing Designer. As you can see, we already have our project created and the Visual Design panel up and ready to go. So the first thing we need to do is go to our Swing Layouts and we'll select Form Layout, which is the J Goodies form layout, and we'll take that and drop it onto the panel. And by default, this will create a 2x2 two two grid for us, so we'll go ahead and accept those defaults. The next thing we'll do is go down to our controls and we'll get a label. We'll select that and we'll drop it in right here. And we'll change the um, text on the label to say first name. And then the next thing we're going to do is get a text field and we'll drop that right here. And we'll stretch that out. So we have our text field right next to it. And then we're going to take a button and we'll drop that in just to the right of the text field. And we'll change the text on the button to say Browse. The next thing we want is another label. So we'll come here, take a label, and put that in underneath. And we'll change the text on the label to say Last Name. And then we'll take another text field and drop that in right next to it. And in this case, we want the text field to actually span two columns. So I'll just grab the right-hand side and I'll drag it over. I'll get my indication that it's now spanning two columns. And that's all it takes. As you can see, it's very easy to get a text field to span multiple columns uh, in, the, in the Swing Designer. And then finally, I'm going to come down and take one more label. I'll drop it in underneath and I'll change the text on this to say middle name. And then one more text field and I'll drop that in here. And as you can see now we have a, a simple form created but we have uh, the order not quite correct. And what we'd like to really see is first, middle, then last. So all I need to do is come over here and grab this uh, grab bar that indicated by the number 5 here and I'm just going to take this and I'm going to drag it up and now you can see I have first, middle, last and very easy to interchange rows and columns simply by using the grab the handles or grab bars either on the left hand side or on the top to to reorganize these and if I come down here and look at the source now I can see the source and I can see that my text fields, labels, and buttons have all been created for me um, using the, the, um, the form layout manager. One thing you may notice is that all of the strings have been hard-coded. And while that's not generally a problem, um, if I wanted to localize this user interface, um, I certainly wouldn't want these strings to be hard-coded. And so let's go back to the design panel. And what I'd really like to do is have these strings in a resource bundle so that I would be uh, referring to the resource bundle or a properties file in order to get the strings versus having them hard coded. So in order to do that, I'm going to use my externalize strings function. So I'll come up to this icon at the top here. I'll select this. And all I need to do is say new. And I have a few different options on how I want to um, externalize these. I'm going to select resource bundle in field and then OK. And then I can say enable all because I'd like to pick up all of the text strings and then externalize. And finally OK. And what this will do is create a messages.properties file for me which we'll see in a second. There it is. And if I open this file, you can see that I now have the labels um, in the file itself. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it underneath the visual design so we can see these together. And now if I come back to the source for this design, you can see that 
the hard-coded strings have been replaced by the references to these bundles. So it'll make it much easier to localize this user interface. Well, let's go back to the design. And one of the things I can do, just to show that the two are actually linked, if I come up and select my button, and I change the label on the button to say Find, you'll see that down in the Properties file, it's been changed right away. So again, we get this notion where the model or the design and the code, even if the code is a properties file or messages file like this, they always stay in synchronization. And again, even though that's changed here, when I come back to the source, you'll see that it's still referring, it's using uh, the, the reference to the bundle, get string method to actually get the value versus having it hard coded. So you can see how easy it is to change uh, values for the strings either in the design or w in the properties file itself. Now let's say I wanted to add a second locale to this. So I'll come up to my externalized strings again. I'll select that. And then I'll say new locale. And in this case, let's scroll down here and I'm going to look for uh, the Spanish locale. And I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'll say OK and you can see it creates a new column in my table with the entries and initially it'll just duplicate what was in the default but if um, I want to change these I can simply come in and change the values in the table so for instance I can change find to buscar I'll change first name I'll change last name and I'll change middle name and now when I select OK I can come up to my drop-down menu here and if I select Spanish now you'll see that in fact it picks up all of the text strings for that and there is a second file created, so if I open the, this file, and I'll go ahead and drag this down here so we can sort of see everything side by side. Here's the entries for uh, the Spanish locale. And again, if I come back to the source for the design, you'll see, in fact, it's still referencing um, the, the resource bundles, so there's no change there. And if I change um, something in the text file. Um, let's just let's say I didn't want this to be all capitals, but I just wanted it in lowercase. And I save that. You can see that when I come back to the design, in fact, it's been updated. However, it hasn't changed the English version or the default version. And if I come back to the default, you'll see that that is still the same. So I can work within the message files and create locales, create user interfaces with specific locales, um, depending upon what my needs are for the user interface that I'm creating. So this gives us a very quick example of how the form layout manager works and how we can use localization or the localization tools within the Swing Designer to localize our various UIs.